How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Dad Quest. I'm leaving the laboratory. I'm out in the open world. Maybe I'll get to go explore the ocean or just hang out by the ocean, do some nice sightseeing, maybe feed some seagulls. Typical dad water-based stuff. Whoa, that was... Uh, <laughs> I barely made that jump. That that was not great. Oh shit. I, I, was, I was hoping I could knock some coconuts loose or something and almost threw my son way the fuck away. He, man, he really crashes back to Earth quickly. Gotta make sure I'm, I'm on the ball there. Use my dad reflexes to make sure he never gets away. Oh, look at this guy. He's a wise looking gentleman. Uh, not enough people wear capes. I don't even know if it's a cape or if it's just like a cool shawl or something. I know what it is. He looks like he's from Lord of the Rings. He looks like he's one of the hobbits and they have one of the, their cloaks that makes them look like rocks. That's what I want. I want a nice swoopy curly hair front thing and a nice Nice rock cloak. Oh ho ho, you made it through alive. Yeah, alrighty then. I guess we can just get straight into it. Well, I guess it's just old Ace Ventura. What's your name, Dad? Actually, I don't care. Listen, do you know what this place is? You signed up to come here. I mean, I can only assume. Are we going to Dad Camp? I do want to go to Dad Camp. Dad Training Facility Research Firm. Dad Training Facility. Yes, yes, this facility is primarily a training center for new dads, but it's so much more. You must have noticed all of the scientists performing experiments, pigeon-related experiments. There's a, there's a weird focus on pigeons in that place. I couldn't really get a firm handle on it. I have them observing and studying a myriad of phenomenon throughout the facility. One of those experiments is an in-depth study of something that I uncovered a number of years ago, something that we've coined the dad spirit. I, the dad bod, the dad jokes, all that stuff's been well defined. I guess no one's got a firm grasp on the dad spirit. That's a, it's a, a valiant area of research. The details aren't important though. What is important is that you passed. Incredible. I've been standing here for literally days waiting for someone to complete this dad spirit training. While you're on the phone, what have you guys been talking about? Just talking about dads? You see, something is happening in the world, a paradigm shift of sorts. We need certified dads, trademarked, like yourself, to go out there into the world and figure out what it really means to be a dad. Then come back to me and we'll talk. Figure out what this powerful force really is. Do you understand? More than you know. I can feel it straight from my balls to the tip of my penis. The, <laughs> the essence of what it means to be a dad. Nowhere else, though. It's, it's generally focused in that genitalia area. It's a very, very localized phenomenon. In fact, I think dad spirit is just dad dick. Did you ever hear, hear, hear the phrase dad dick? Dads have a very particular <laughs> type of dick, and it's it's thanks to the dad spirit. I've cracked the case. You guys don't need to look into it any further. You can save the research dollars. I've seen and done it all. That's what it is. That's the heart of all of it. Not the dad heart, the dad dick. The dad dick is the heart of the dad spirit. It's a perfect trifecta there. Dick, heart, spirit. It's all It's all one thing. You gotta... Just believe me. Perfect. I hate to repeat myself. Were you not listening to my thing? I'm not going on your trip, man. There's a boat to the right of us. Get on it and be on your way out into the world. Go forth, Dad. Go. Be reborn into this world. Alright, I'll, I'll take your little sailboat. I assume all... Oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> what the shit was that? I assume all dads are good sailors, but it's really fucking hard when you get shot. All of that was just like the intro to this game? What kind of bullshit was that? What, who's this villain? Who's this villain who decided to shoot me and send me to like hell, maybe? Probably not hell. Some kind of dad heaven. But what kind of bullshit was that? This took a very strange turn. Now there's a little... Oh man, I thought that boy crawled out of a clam, and then I thought he had an umbilical cord. Turns out it's some weird golem who's winging children away on strings. What in the fuck was that? What the hell was that all about? I'm not going to fight that guy. I'm not going to... Am I still shot? Maybe he just had like a tranquilizer dart or something and I just I just went on a weird drug trip? This is a weird place to plot me back into the game. I... I oh, fuck. <laughs> I did not realize that that was something I was going to sink in. It looked like it was just a little hole and that was just background water. I can't defend myself. I gotta run away from this fucking pooping, flying lemon drop. Oh, good treasure. Treasure that just happened to contain my son? That's that's handy. Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no! Hey! 
that worked out oddly well. I don't really know how I managed to rescue him without falling in there myself. But, uh, great. It's it's just like Donkey Kong or something, where, where your Donkey and Kong just ends up... Whatever. <laughs> when when D Diddy Kong dies or whatever, you rescue him from a barrel or whatever, however that works. Is this a buried kid with a frying pan? I couldn't imagine what would happen to me if these egg people weren't around. Are they dropping egg yolks? <laughs> I, I think they're trying to eat me. So do you just have a frying pan in your head? Catching catching egg yolks? Is that, what, is that what's going on here? Oh, I can't, I can't jump high enough to get up there. I was trying to grab the ledges. Uh, I was some, sometimes in games when you talk twice, you know, someone has a new bit of dialogue to reveal. Shit. Two and one. That a, that a, that a boy there, Kathy Sue. You're making old Randy proud. Oh, do I have to start back over at like zero animal ashes? Whatever the fuck those were. Can I? Oh, good. I was I was wondering if maybe I needed to upgrade the ability to push or something like that, and I, I hadn't had it yet. He just kind of hovers. He just slides in. Just doesn't even need to use his feet. One of his many dad talents. It just, every time you do the ledge grab, it really looks like it's out of reach, and he just barely gets it up there. It's very impressive. Very impressive dad feat. Water bottle? Plastic water bottle. Bad for the environment. You had an heirloom. This One day, this water bottle will be yours, son. Your, your great-grandpa drank out of it, left it in the garage, everyone kind of forgot about it. Later on, when he passed on, someone else found it, assumed it was his, and decided to pass it along, because he had other sons that he liked a bit more, so they got the good stuff. We got we got stuck with the water bottle that may or may not have been his. Thank you, Crate, for saving me from this weird offshoot that I don't know where it's headed. <laughs> hey, is someone there? <laughs> didn't want to didn't want to commit much further than that. Oh my God! If you're a person, please help me. Why, in fact, I am a person. Two people. Hello, is someone there? Please help me. I was doing a bunch of experiments and got stuck in here. If you're a person, maybe you could find something to break me out. Please, I don't want to. I don't want to be bored anymore. Oh my god, it's so boring in here. Help me, please. All right, if I throw you just right. Oh, come on, boy. Use that thick head of yours. Come on. Come on, lad. Put, put some back into it. Shit. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I think you're just gonna have to be left to die. Oh, there's a giant... Maybe that's... It kind of... It, it is an arrow, but I don't know if it's meant to be. For a second, it looked like maybe it was meant to be. The blackened access card. An access card, whatever color, it is now obscured by all the soot. Oh, so it's not actually black. But also, why is there an access card out here? Don't really know... I don't really know what's up with that. Save the game. I'm hoping that this works here. Oh, perfect. No one cares what color it is, since everything else has been blackened out as well. Oh shit! Stupid little egg egg critters. Oh, help. Now I feel kind of bad for fucking them up. Only a little bit, though. What is going on in this weird world? Is weird ar Oh, level up. Oh, he didn't, he didn't actually grow up. I guess he's not going to grow up every single time. But anyways, weird egg creatures, those weird purple armadillos, I don't really know what's going on here. Power throw. The child hardens its body to deal more impact damage. The child extends to perform a powerful melee weapon. <laughs> he, just, he just grows like a little bit? He sticks his neck out and points his toes? Or there's Shank, the child stabs enemies. Oh shit, when I'm not holding him, does that mean he'll just like run around and stab people? I kind of like the sound of that. Oh, do I only get to choose one? I can't go backwards and choose the other thing? Oh, power throw sounds good, but I like the idea of a little child just running around shanking enemies. I'm, I'm a big fan of child violence. A little bit a fan of the idea of me being violent towards children by like, you know, hucking them around the room, but much more a fan of the idea of a child being violent. I think that's, uh, that's just full of hilarity. Now, now I can just leave him to do his thing. Wow, you're that's looking pretty good there, son. That's that's a very effective technique you you got there. I wonder wonder where you learned that from. I don't think it was me. Not not something I've ever done. Come on, how the fuck do I get over there? Oh, perfect. What the hell? Can he not do the finishing blow or what? The, what's up? What's the hold up? Maybe he. I guess he only shanks for a certain amount of time before he stops. This lever looks too stiff for even a dad such as yourself to move on your own. One good whack ought to do it, though. <laughs> well, that was awfully easy. I was I was expecting to have to go run around and, you know, look for something to do that with. 
Yeah, just bash, bash your hard-headed little baby boy into it, and that'll do the trick just fine. I don't think I've found anything I can use to bust open that thing down below. Oh, if I just shake this loose, it'll probably fall down into it. Hello, what was that? Well, it's a giant box that's probably going to smash you to bits. I'm sorry, man. I know I told you to save me, but that sounds scary. Oh, shit. Hey, perfect. They just blew each other to bits. It's a little little girl researcher. Oh, gosh, you saved my flippin' life, dude. I've been stuck in that box for 13 days. I don't even know what to say. I I know what to say. I think we need to take you over to the ocean there and, and wash up a little bit. 13 days of stank. Little child stank, no less. Something I don't want to deal with. I just, I'm just gonna go wait under that beach umbrella there. You go wash up. If you happen to come across some, like, pina coladas or something, bring those my way. Hell, I'd even settle for a cold beer. We'll, we'll talk once you get that dealt with. I need to take a deep breath. <sighs> okay, okay, I owe you my entire existence to you, miss... M m t dude? <laughs> what the fuck is she saying? I don't, I don't know what the, there's something weird going on there. But you can't own people, so like, how'd you end up in my backyard, dude? I mean, not that I'm complaining or anything, I'm just pretty rare to see people back here, you know? Oh! <laughs> so you went through dad training and then crashed into my backyard? That's crazy pants. We haven't had any dads crash back here in a while. Well, but you probably got all sorts of, like, dad stuff to do now, I guess. Is this girl and the, the pan-headed kid, are they just like the what would have been the children of potential dads who failed the training and they're like sorry you don't get a dad you got to go live on this island by yourself and fend for yourself from weird flying egg things that's just the way the world works no okay well i uh, you're new so i'll let you into the library maybe you can read up on history and learn yourself something good meet you there haha <laughs> well I'll just i'm just gonna follow you I'm not going to I'm not going to meet you there. I don't know where the library is. I'm just going to follow you. I didn't even try to go in here, I don't think. I was I was I was like to see what is in the full extent of the map before I start going into doors and stuff, so I just automatically went past it. Hey, I'm going inside. Come on through whenever you're ready. And yeah, I'll, I'll head on up. I'll see what's Ooh, this is a pretty well-stocked library. Fancy setup you got here, kiddo. Would you like to read test book? Oh, I thought I was talking to her. I think I accidentally picked up test book. Ahem. Long ago, there was a book that had the word test on its cover, and it was okay. The end. Whoa! That was a fucking roller coaster. That's going up in my, like, top five list. I, I man, I, I need to go on Amazon and order myself, like, four copies. Everyone's getting that shit for the for their birthdays this year. Every every chance I get, I'm giving test book to people. That's a great one. Every night, my child comes and asks me, Dad, Dad, please read more test book. Maybe there's a sequel to test book here. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just all it's all test books. Wise wise decision to stock a library entirely entirely of test book. It's it's a literary classic. So next time, guys, I'll actually talk to the little girl and see what's up and visit the the adults. Maybe Maybe this is an adult. Who am I to say? It's hard to tell based on her little pixel body. So that's maybe that's something we can discover in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.